we're about to look at this logic question here. We have a premise and a second premise and a conclusion. And we're trying to see if the conclusion is necessarily true given these two premises. So I've labeled the premise one and premise two, a little one and two over here on the right. We're actually gonna start with premise number two. They're not actually strictly ordered, so you can examine whichever one you want first. So we're gonna start with premise number two because it's a little bit stronger. It says all perceptions of doubting are operations of mind. So we'll look at that one first. What that means is if you have a perception, it's automatically an operation of the mind. And that is what a subset means. Every perception is also an operation. In a Venn diagram, this is what it looks like. All the perceptions are inside the set of the operations. So that's premise two. Now we're gonna look at premise one, which says some perceptions of doubting are ideas of reflection. So some perceptions are ideas. I just shortcutted right there, but also some are not. So it's not saying that all perceptions are ideas. It's saying that some of them are. So in this Venn diagram, you don't get any subset necessarily. What you do get is uh, the standard two circle Venn diagram. And this idea of some perceptions are ideas. That means that the intersection, the middle part is not empty. And one way to say that there's at least one perception that's also an idea and sometimes we just represent that with a little dot meaning there is something in there it's not empty so that's what premise one means and now we're going to combine these together so basically what I'm going to do is take this ideas set right here and just rewrite it up here and I'm going to use another color we'll go with green so these are ideas and uh, now notice I did not, it would not be correct to assume that all ideas are operations. If I just drew the idea set like this, then I would be assuming that all ideas are also operations, which is not necessarily the case. There could be some ideas over here that are not perceptions and also not operations. There's one more piece of information. We have at least one thing, one element that's a perception and an idea. And I'll take that back up here and I'll put that little dot in there. So there's at least one in between these two. Because it's in this intersection and the entire set of perceptions is inside the operations, that means this one right here has to, because it's inside perceptions, also has to be inside operations. So now we can look at the conclusion. It says some operations are ideas. So how many operations have to be ideas in order for this conclusion to be true? Uh, it's just one operation has to be an idea. And look at that we have at least one right there in the middle. So this one operation, this one operation is also an idea. And so the answer to this one is true.